The demand for Tesla products has become undeniable since the release of their high-end products. But if there's one vehicle every electric vehicle enthusiast is looking forward to, that's the Tesla Cybertruck. Since its initial release in 2029, millions have pre-ordered this product. One of the reasons people are excited about the Cybertruck is that it represents a major shift in the automotive industry towards electric vehicles. With a growing concern about climate change, there is a growing demand for more sustainable and eco-friendly vehicles, and the Cybertruck represents an important step in that direction. Tesla's track record for producing high-performance electric vehicles has also helped to build anticipation for the Cybertruck's release. Today, we will delve deeper into the release of the product, the features that we are expecting, and what could probably happen. But please remember to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest in the luxury world. At Luxury Mindset, we bring you all luxurious information ranging from items, cars, houses, places, and even people who bathe in luxury. Not only that, but we also give you pretty much the amount you would need to purchase any of these luxurious stuff. So if you're interested in the rich, becoming rich, or even dreaming of lying on a mattress of gold or dollar bills, click the notification bell to keep yourself updated on this channel. Most of the Cybertrucks have likely been fully assembled by now, as the Giga Presses are located in Tesla's factory. Although we saw footage of the machines being set up in Tesla's Giga factory in Texas, the company has since put up large curtains, making it impossible to track the progress of the Cybertruck and determine its current location. This is unfortunate but understandable, as Tesla likely doesn't want competitors to see what they are working on and make assumptions based on incomplete information. Tesla fans tend to get excited and disappointed when things don't happen as expected as evidenced by the lack of new hardware and vehicles on Investor Day. At the event, Tesla instead discussed its plans for the company over the next decade and how it plans to achieve its goals. Let's start with an update on Cybertruck's design. A new Cybertruck has been spotted driving around, and at Investor Day, attendees were able to get close-up pictures and videos of it. The latest design features the front bumper moving up, similar to the F-150 Lightning, which allows for better access to the trunk. The front design lines suggest that this is likely how it will function, but it has not been confirmed. Additionally, it is hoped that Tesla will provide a powered front gear to make the Cybertruck even more user-friendly, as the last EV maker to not include this feature was criticized. It's strange that Tesla hasn't implemented a powered front gear in the Cybertruck. The aftermarket options have been great quality-of-life improvements. The bed has been updated to have a traditional truck bed appearance with a plastic liner that is much easier to clean, which we appreciate. The grooves in the original design were a concern for debris to get trapped. The latest Tiber truck features triangle mirrors rather than the previously seen square or rectangular mirrors. The triangular mirrors were large and didn't fit the car's design at all. However, it appears that the truck looks a lot better with different mirrors. Elon Musk, the car's manufacturer, mentioned that these mirrors could be easily removed and many people are likely to do so. That is considering the legal requirements for side mirrors vary by state. And in Michigan, only the driver's side needs a mirror. The interior camera is a replacement for both side mirrors if the police ask to pull over might work. While it's currently illegal to do so, it might be worth trying since it would make the car more efficient and the Cybertruck would look better without the side mirrors. There are still criticisms about Cybertruck's appearance, but what the majority prioritize is the vehicle's functionality and utility. It's interesting to see how some traditional pickup owners focus on the looks of their trucks while the primary purpose of such vehicles is to haul and tow things and drive through rough terrain. It's impossible that some people enter their pickup trucks in beauty contests, but that's not our goal. We want our vehicle to serve its purpose well. Therefore, we may consider removing the mirrors for aerodynamic purposes. But if we need them to check around the vehicle and make driving easier, we would keep them. Moving on to the wheels, the latest unveiling of the Cybertruck and Investor Day featured the futuristic and Cybertruck-like wheels with caps that were originally shown. 
However, people should not get too excited about these wheels because many of the Cybertrucks seen driving around did not have them. Similar to the Model 3, Model Y, and Model S, the Cybertruck may come with easily removable covers for the wheels, or Tesla may offer multiple wheel options. It is not a big deal which wheels are initially shown because wheels can easily be changed aftermarket or by Tesla. Tesla may choose to keep Cybertruck production simple by not offering multiple wheel options, but this is uncertain. Many people overreact when they see different wheels and tires on a car, but it's not a big deal because they can easily be changed out in about 10 minutes. The aesthetics of the wheels and tires in the Cybertruck are fine, but they are quite large, which will negatively impact the vehicle's efficiency. For someone who prioritizes efficiency, it's better to drive the Cybertruck with smaller, albeit slightly odd-looking tires to improve its efficiency, especially for highway driving. Currently, the tonneau cover of the Cybertruck is automatic and can retract and come back with the push of a button. It seems that Tesla is sealing it to prevent rainwater from entering the back of the truck. And this is a major reason for sealing it. The short boat rides may be a unique feature of the Cybertruck. Many people have expressed concerns about the giant wiper on the truck, but when seen in person, it doesn't stick out as much as people think. There is no other place to put it, as there is nowhere to hide it like in other vehicles. There is a laser patent that Tesla is working on to clean off the windshield, but it doesn't seem to be ready for the Cybertruck yet. However, the wiper seems to be sufficient in clearing the windshield, as seen in a picture posted by friends during Investor Day. And it covers the three autopilot cameras in the front and clears the passenger side for the windshield as well. It does not clear the top corner of the passenger side of the windshield, but it is not a significant issue. From what has been publicly seen, it appears that the wiper on the Cybertruck is sufficient for cleaning off the windshield. Despite initial concerns, it is believed that Tesla has spent a significant amount of time perfecting the tonneau cover, especially given that the Rivian had a recall for their tonneau cover on the R1T. While some people have some issues with their tonneau covers, others have not, so hopefully, Tesla can get it right the first time. The channels in the tonneau cover look interesting, and it remains to be seen how well they will perform. One important consideration when purchasing an early supercharger is to avoid getting a product that is of low quality and ends up not working after just six months. One noticeable absence from the Cybertruck being seen driving around is the top light bar that was present in the original unveiling. Although Elon Musk has stated that the Cybertruck design is locked, we still don't know if we've seen the final design or if we know the final prices. Despite this uncertainty, many are hoping that the top light bar will be included in the final product. There is a significant amount of information that Tesla has not shared with the public, which is concerning. It is strange that Tesla has not shared this design for the Cybertruck, despite claiming that the design is locked. Elon Musk has said that the Cybertruck production should begin around June of this year, with volume production starting in 2024. Similar to the Model Y rollout at Gigafactory, Texas, it is possible that the first Cybertrucks will go to employees for testing before volume production begins. However, the lack of information regarding the Model Y, especially the vehicles with the 4680 cells and structural battery pack, was concerning. Tesla provided very little information regarding the range and features of these vehicles, even after the initial delivery event. The speaker hopes that there will be more transparency regarding the Cybertruck and that Tesla will not repeat the lack of information that surrounded the Model Y rollout. They conduct a delivery event where they give the first employees the products such as the Model Y without allowing anyone to place an order. There was no way to request a lower range 4680 Model Y during the initial deliveries from Fremont. Although the standard range Model Y is now available on Tesla's website, it can only be ordered from inventory and not through the Model Y page. Tesla may open the order page for the Cybertruck at one point, but people should not get too excited about their reservation numbers. A calculator exists online that estimates a person's place in line based on their reservation number. And the speaker ordered the night of the event and is around number 40,000, which is good considering the millions of reservations that have been made. 
It is likely that the earliest Cybertruck deliveries will go to people located close to Texas. Reservation numbers are not that important in determining delivery timing. Now to the batteries. It is known that the Cybertruck will use Tesla's 4680 cells, but production for these cells is slower than Tesla would like. The final range of the vehicle is still unknown, but Tesla claimed 500 miles of the tri-motor variant at the initial unveiling. Compared to the Tesla Model X, which has a 100 kilowatt battery pack and a range of approximately 330 miles, the Cybertruck will be bigger and heavier than the Model X, but due to its shape, it may still have comparable efficiency. If the Cybertruck has the same efficiency as the Model X, it would require a battery pack of around 160 to 170 kilowatt hours to achieve a range of 500 miles. While a 500 mile range would be desirable, it may make the Cybertruck too expensive for many customers. It remains to be seen whether Tesla will actually deliver a 500 mile range Cybertruck. There might be no other electric vehicle with a Lucid Air's 500 mile range. As for the electric pickup trucks, their ranges are typically around 300 to 330 miles, so there isn't much competition in that regard. The Cybertruck's range will probably be closer to 400 to 420 miles, which is still impressive. However, it may not rely heavily on the 4680 cells, which are not fully in production yet. During Tesla's semi-delivery event, they unveiled their next supercharger, which has the capability of charging up to 1 megawatt or 1,000 kilowatts. This is a significant improvement from their current fastest chargers, which have a capacity of 250 kilowatts, making it four times faster. Although it is unlikely that the Cybertruck will receive one megawatt of charging due to its battery size, it is possible to receive 500 kilowatts of charging with a 4680 battery's improved charging curve. This could lead to fast charging for the Cybertruck, making the need for a 500 mile range less necessary. However, for those living in colder climates, the range could still be impacted significantly, especially when towing, as range loss can easily be up to half in freezing temperatures. While fast charging can compensate for this, stopping every 200 miles for 30 to 45 minutes may not be ideal for frequent towing, and gasoline-powered trucks may still be more convenient in such cases. Let's discuss the final specifications of the Cybertruck. Originally, it was planned to have one, two, or three motors, but Elon Musk later announced that they will go with a quad motor to compete with a Rivian R1T. However, from a practical standpoint, three motors would be sufficient for most people. The electric motors will not be the limiting factor, but rather the 4680 batteries for a while. If we get a range of 400 miles, the price is likely to be quite expensive. However, Tesla has made manufacturing more efficient, with the Cybertruck being a simpler model that doesn't require certain aspects of the manufacturing process, such as paint. This saves a lot of time and money, and I hope that the top-end Cybertruck will cost less than $100,000. However, given the high demand, it may be priced as high as $150,000 and still sell out for the next two to three years. Given the high level of demand, it's uncertain if a low price would be feasible. It would be ideal if the price could be set at $79.99, allowing for tax credits and easy delivery. However, it doesn't seem realistic in terms of the autopilot hardware. While the Cybertruck appears to be similar to other vehicles in this regard, there are a few differences, such as a front bumper camera that may not be used for autopilot but could aid in off-roading or parking. Additionally, there seem to be two rear cameras that may assist with trailer attachment or backing up. Although it's unclear if these cameras will be utilized for autopilot, it's possible that they may be included in the final product. Elon has stated that the Cybertruck will come with hardware 4, but it's still unclear that this will fully entail. There appears to be some upgraded hardware in the Cybertruck, including a higher resolution camera and a new computer. Tesla's website even lists some inventory vehicles that are equipped with hardware 4 and available for purchase. Recently released pictures from an Investor Day event also show the size of the truck, which has been a point of criticism due to the angled sides potentially limiting utility. However, based on the people standing next to the truck, 
It seems that at least the back half of the bed is easily reachable, although it's unclear what height the suspension was set to. It's amusing to note that there are many tall, lifted trucks on the road whose owners likely have trouble reaching into their own trunk beds. Ultimately, the usefulness of the Cybertruck will depend on how the owner intends to use it. No vehicle is perfect, and each has its own strengths and weaknesses. While the angled sides may limit certain uses, there are other features that make the Cybertruck unique and special. It all comes down to what the individual owner prioritizes and values in a vehicle. Are you excited as everyone else? Tell us what you're looking forward to with Tesla Cybertruck. And if this caught your interest, stay updated by clicking on the notification bell. We have more luxury videos coming for you.